yeah, so can you tell us a little bit, I guess, about that uh, that goal against Charlton? Is that best of your your you know professional career? Um, one hundred percent. I don't even think I'll score another one like it ever again. You know, I've been practicing that kind of technique and training, but um, I, on the day, I just felt confident. I just absolutely smashed it, and it's just gone right to the top corner. So I'm buzzing with it. <laughs> For this season, is it play as many games as you can? You know, help Millwall push. You know, for promotion playoff. Yeah, spot. definitely. You know, rack up as many appearances as I can, and hopefully push for the national team as well. You know, it's a big ambition for mine, and uh, you know, hopefully, if I just play well here at Millwall, I can um, progress on through there. And you grew up in Perth. I mean, um, just as the A League was obviously getting off the ground when you left for for Villa, um, were you a Glory fan in the in the NSL days? Growing yeah, up? I used to go down. You know, to uh, down to the, the ground all the time. Okay, you know, with, down with the old NSL games, and uh, you know, my dad used to be in the shed and that as well. So, but it's it's great that the A League's taken off, and I'm I'm really happy happy for it. You know, it seems to be progressing every year in the fan base. So, that can only be a good thing for Australia football. Have you got any ambition? I mean, you're only 24, so you're only just you know kicking off in football. Have you got any ambition to, to, to play there? Um, you know, maybe for the glory one day. Yeah, definitely. Uh, hopefully later on down the track, you know, I want to try and play at the highest the highest level here in, uh, in in Europe if I can. You know, in England. So, um, but you know, it's something I'll have to think about a bit later on. Hopefully, and uh, we'll see what happens. And one of the things um, Lucas Neal was mentioning yesterday was about in terms of the younger players showing the hunger and desire to play for the Socceroos. I mean. You just talked before about you know picking Australia over Ireland when you you could have potentially already been capped for Ireland. Do you think the younger kids, you know yourself, Chris Heard, those kind of guys have got that you know desire to play for Australia? Yeah, definitely. You know every kid that plays football is Australian wants to play for Australia. But you know I can understand his comments as well. You know when you do get into the squad, you have to show that you deserve to be there. You're not going to give given it for free. You have to earn the respect of your peers and of the management. You know. Uh, the older lads have been been there and done it. They've played at a high level for many years, and uh, you know it's time for the young lads to step up and show you know that we can we can handle the pressure as well. So uh, as I said, yeah, it's all about earning respect. You know, people don't just respect you straight away. You got to you know earn the right for your place in the team and in the squad. Thanks, Shane, for your time. No worries. You're welcome.